Hey guys, it's Amber. Welcome to my channel and to a Sassy Girl Aroma haul. I got in a small haul. I do have a couple more orders coming. I'm assuming they're going to ship together. Um, I have to say, once you start doing these pre-orders, it's hard not to stop. Because as I've said in a past video about Sassy Girl, there's new scents like every pre-order and so I always want to go in and see what there is and it's it's so hard to say no so but I've been good the last few weeks about um, staying off of the website and staying out of the Facebook group because um, I'm trying to not buy every single bar every week in the pre-orders um especially because i'm going to sensi family reunion uh next week which is crazy that it's already here and so you know i'm trying to save my money up for my trip so um trying to be good about purchasing other stuff right now and um, so I will show you what I did get this time around. Like I said, it's a, it's a small haul, but I still figured I would share it with you guys. So first off, we always get a little sample, which I do really enjoy. And the sample this time is called persimmon salsa. Um, being a Californian, I do know what a persimmon is. I know some people in other states, they don't really, persimmons aren't very common, but for me, um, they're not, I wouldn't say they're super common, but they are, most people, I would say, know what they are, at least in Northern California where I grew up. Um, my mom used to actually make persimmon cookies and I loved them. They were so good. So a persimmon is a fruit, um, an orangey fruit. Some are more um, like compact oblong shaped and then some are more like um, fuller. Those were the ones that I'm more familiar with is the bigger ones. Uh, where I live now in California, the, the more compact oblong ones are more common around this area compared to the other ones. I prefer the other ones. Um, they are kind of um, mango-y tasting, but richer and deeper. And it almost has like a like a cinnamon spice um, taste to it as well, especially if you bake it and stuff. Like I said, my mom used to make um, persimmon cookies. Um, you kind of get that rich, almost spice, not hot spice. Like I said, more like cinnamon type of spice to the fruit, which is, they're good. I, I like them. Um, so anyway, that's what persimmon in is long story short. Um, this is a kind of persimmony. It's more like mango. Like I said, persimmon kind of has, um, the same type of flavor profile as a mango, but like I said, deeper and richer, um, so it is different. This is good, this is nice. It reminds me of like a mango or a peach more than a persimmon though. And I do kind of get a, something else in it. It's nice, I like it. So uh, that is persimmon salsa. Maybe it will, it'll smell more persimmony when it melts. I don't know. Okay, onto the four brittles that I did get. The first one is called Lantern. I wanted to go with some different things this time around. I know I mainly got like super bakery scents with my last order. So Lantern is warm nutmeg, spicy peppercorn, and um, earthy notes of amber and vetiver punctuated with sweet crisp apple. And I love apple. Uh, so this one definitely appealed to me. Plus it was different too, more of like an outdoorsy. Oh yeah, that's nice. This is, I get that peppercorn, definitely. And the vetiver. I'm not really getting apple. 
I guess there is kind of a brightness to it. Maybe that's what the apple is. I like it though. It's different. It is definitely different than all my bakery ones that I got before. So that is Lantern. I will be happy to try this in the fall. So these are all like more fall, um, one winter, three fall, one winter scents. Okay, next is Sled Ride. And this is cinnamon, sweet maple, toffee, salted caramel, fresh nutmeg, maple syrup, and vanilla. And this is supposed to be a dupe for Yankee Candles um, after sledding, which I have that candle and I love that scent. Uh, so I was like, oh yes, I want this in a brittle. And it does, it smells like that. Oh, so pretty, so delicious. Ooh, that is so nice. You get like a buttery quality to it. Oh, so good. It doesn't, it's maple and caramel, but to me it's not, it doesn't really smell. I guess them combined is kind of why it doesn't specifically smell like maple or caramel. It's like a warm, buttery, spicy, cozy drink type scent to me. Oh, it's so yummy, so good. So that is Sled Ride, it smells really good. Okay, next is Upper Crust, and this is wheat, barley, butter, rye, and toasted crust. So it's a bread scent, obviously. And this one, of course, it's, bread isn't specific necessarily to a season, but we'll see what I feel when I smell it. Okay, this is good. It definitely is bready. I like it. I do get like a yeasty quality to this for sure. It's not it's not like buttery either. It's more of like a like a bread or a toast before um you put anything on it. I like this. Oh, that's really good. This is one that would be a really good mixer too because it is just like a bread scent, um, but I will enjoy this on its own too. So upper crust. And then the last one is a Christmassy winter scent. It's called Christmas at Santa's. And I love the colors in this one. It's so pretty. So this is Pepperberry Wreath sugar cookies and marshmallow fireside. So it is a more gourmandy bakery one. Oh, that's nice. Pepperberry wreath, that's probably what I'm getting. Cause there is like a peppery, like a evergreen type of note to it, but it's not overwhelming everything else. There's a sweetness to this too. Um, the Marshmallow Fireside. Oh, there, I'm getting it now a little more. I was going to say it's, it's very subtle. It's a subtle Marshmallow Fireside. Not overly smoky. Oh, I like this though. This is really good. The scents I get the most is that wreath and then the sugar cookie with the marshmallow fireside more in the background. I like that, I like that a lot. This one feels like it will be one that will need to sit though more because um, not super strong right now. Um, but like I said, it's wintry anyway. I still, I'd like to at least, um, since I've started ordering Sassy Girl, at least try them out because I'm impatient and I just want to see how they perform right when I get them. So, so even though this, since I'm seasonal melter, even though it, this is technically a winter scent, I'm still going to try it out once to see how I like it and then save the rest for the winter. So there you go, you guys. So small haul, but I'm, uh, I like the smell of all four of these and they're all different, which I really, enjoy. Um, actually sled ride, I was like two, four fall and 
two, one winter. Actually, Sled Ride is a winter scent for me. It's not really a fall scent. Um, Cause like I said, it's a dupe for uh, after sledding, Yankee Candles after sledding. So anyway, so two Christmas winter scents and two fall type scents, but I am going to melt them all and try them out just to get my um, thoughts in regards to the after melting of them and then put them away for actual fall and winter. Thank you guys for spending some time with me. I appreciate all of you. Um, let me know in the comments if you tried Sassy Girl and what are some of your favorite, if you have, what are some of your favorite um, ones by her? Because uh, I'm, I'm like putting a list together to be, that way I can be on the lookout for them. But like I said, I've tried to stay away from pre-orders right now. Um, but when I go back to purchase more, then I'll have an idea of what people have recommended. So let me know in the comments um, what is a scent that you really like. Um, anyway, thank you guys. I appreciate you and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Until next time, TTFN. Ta-ta for now.